We're here today because the wonders of modern technology in electron microscopy allowed us to see single atoms of krypton trapped inside the fullerene. Krypton, the atom that we studied, is a very difficult to work with because it belongs to the group of inert noble gases in the periodic table and it does not want to interact with anything else. We entrapped krypton in the hollow molecule and it looks exactly like a football, only it's 300 million times smaller than a football. We inserted fullerene with krypton into the carbon nanotube. We suspend the carbon nanotube on a tiny copper mesh, which then is set inside the electron microscope. What we discovered uh, by looking at the images of the krypton, and that was the first time when this elusive element was studied in real space, is that it's not as inert as we thought. So it does form pairs between the krypton atoms and even chains. It forms a one-dimensional gas. This is a very unusual form of matter where properties of atom change on the fundamental level, as they start behaving as fermions, which are subatomic particles. So what we're seeing here is the carbon nanotube. So inside of the nanotube, we have C60 fullerenes, and each dark atom inside is a single krypton atom. That is exactly that. It's about the process, it's about the method. And now we know, we have this knowledge, we can give it to the rest of the world so that other elements can be studied. This is so exciting. I mean, so, you know, I, I've been doing this type of work for more than 20 years, and still every time when I see the atom, it makes me so happy and very, very excited.